Yeah, we were just touching the surface yesterday. So why was religion evil in your house? Oh, by the way, I went to see your friend Anthony yesterday. That's all right. Oh my God, that was so much fun. Okay. Can I say that? Of course. Okay, okay. I would hope you'd say that. Oh, okay, good. No, it helps because... He's a delightful man. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, it's just later in the day. Right. Which helps, because I just have more energy later. You were fine on our show? You know? All right. Was it just you two, or yeah, did you have other people there? It was us two, and then Ralph said, What did you talk about? <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't it be fine? Huh? Why wouldn't it be fine? Um... No, no, no. Of course it would be fine. It was great. No, you were asking me. Why wouldn't it be fine? Oh, I don't know. Sorry. Oh. Probably your reaction. Huh? You might have thought you reacted. How did I react? I didn't even react. No, you didn't react. You we were... talked about it yesterday. I said, you know, it was fine. We don't talk, but I don't, but, you know, I don't, I don't care if people do a show. Right. So, anyway. The are, you religion are you guys going to talk at the benefit? No. Not at all. He's done some really shitty things. No. Now I'm pissed. No. It goes really deep. The stuff I've, I've found out recently. No, I'm not talking to him. And I won't be in the same room as him. No. Do you know, do you know any of the stuff that he's done lately? Okay. Fair enough. No, I'm not. So he, he can put that aside. That rumor that we might talk. <clears throat> no. The shit I found out recently? No. No, I'll never be in the same room as that fucking guy. <clears throat> you you don't have to be, you know. You, I don't know what you're choose. talking about. That's fine. Like I said, you're you know I, I I I'm not putting you in the middle of it. But if you don't know, you don't know. That's fine. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know. Real shitty stuff, to be honest with you. Extremely shitty stuff. Yeah. So, anyway, and people are confused. Whoa, you threw him under the bus. No, I never threw Anthony under the bus. Trust me. But he made it very obvious that it was time to move on. Extremely obvious. I'm and sorry. And things I wondered about and now I, I know is true. So no. How do you know they're true? I'm not saying they're not. I don't even know what you're talking about. <clears throat> I'm leaving you out of it. Simple as that. And I'll, and I'll never talk to you about it. You'll never tell me? No. No. I'm, no. You, you know. No. Yeah, see? No. Getting a lot of people shaking their heads. No. Why won't you tell me? I don't want to. Okay. I don't feel like we're that close in that way. No, I'm not telling you. Okay. <sighs> anyway. Hi, Esther. Hi. Sorry I brought that up. What, no, uh, it's not your fault that we're not that close. That's not your, that's not your <laughs> fault. What's going on? Um, nothing much. <clears throat> What's going on with you? I'm actually good in general. Uh, anyway, so what re what religion were you growing up? Um, it was Christian evangelical. What is that? They're like they try to recruit people. Like they would always go fishing. Well, they they weren't the ones that shaved their heads. No, they just like went to college campuses and like preyed on vulnerable, you know, insecure kids, and would um you know, recruit them and bring them to the church. Right. And so it, it, they were always just like, you know, out shopping for new recruits. Right. Which is like, you know, you don't want that in a religion, right? Where would they go to try to find new members? They would go to college campuses. Really? Mm hmm And your parents were into this? Yeah. Huh. I would go. What do you mean? I would go as a high school kid to college campuses and like oh, so they, talk you, to people and be like... So they wanted you to recruit people. Yeah. Your parents made you do this? The church made me do this. Yeah. Oh, so you so you turned away from religion. Right. Oh, I got it. Was that a problem with uh with you and your parents? Um, yeah. Yeah, because they were super into it, you know? Right. So hmm. All right, this got weird. <sighs> well, it just got weird because I'm asking you something. And you're like, we're not that close like that, which is fine. But well, you know, we're not. I mean, we do a good show together and stuff, but we're not that close. Ugh, so now you're mad at me for something? I'm not, I'm not mad. Ugh. I'm not mad. We're not close yet. What? This is a surprise to you? We're not close. We do a good show together. It's okay. Ugh. Don't say ugh. I'm gonna say ugh. 
Don't say uck. You know everything as we're going on. You don't. You don't. No, but I, I don't know exactly what you're talking about. You're saying something that I don't know, and you're acting like fine. I do know. That's all right. and but you I, are acting like I do know. No, I said I. 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 I no, I'm. I. I was surprised. You're you don't. In a conspiratorial I tone. was surprised. You don't know. But I don't. I, I believe you for real. For real, I do believe you. Okay. And it's, not, it's, and it's not a matter of being close. Like, you know, it's just this weird <clears throat> paranoia thing. It's there's, like, what's going on? There's something there's, going on. There's no paranoia. But I, I, there's none. I believe you. If you tell me you don't, you don't know some of the real dirty shit he, he did over the years, that's fine. I have zero, that's no fine. idea. I believe you. I believe you. I really do. But it, it does make me very upset. Okay? But I do believe you. All right? <clears throat> I believe you. Not happy. I believe you, though. Okay, you've been in the middle of this, uh, you know, for a long time. So I try to keep you out of it. You do both shows and all that. Yes. I don't say a word about it. No. And and if you say you, you don't know, then fine. I believe you. Okay. Yeah. No, I really don't know, and I don't feel like I need to. I know you're not asking me to prove I don't know, and I don't feel I like I need to prove. I I, you. I I said I know that. I really I, do believe you. I know. Okay. I know you do. I don't feel like you don't. I don't feel disbelieved. Right. But if somebody, that, that to me, that you don't need to be close to somebody. If somebody says, I'm not saying like, why don't you think we're close? I don't give a shit about that. But if I say to you, why, well, what, what's going on? I don't think it requires us to be in love with each other for you to say off the air, I, like, this I, is what's been happening. I don't think I, that's I've an issue of closeness. I, I've told you some of the stuff, and we've talked about some of the stuff, so... But I got, I got, you know, more info and stuff, and I'm just blown away by it, to be honest with you. So, blown away. You say odd shit to people, dude. You're a good guy. Whatever. But you say odd shit to people. Like what? Like that. Like what? Like that. Because we're not close, so why would I tell you? Because we're it's not close. But what, what, is, okay. what kind, who are you close with? Like, what constitutes close I to you? I don't need to tell you who I'm close with. I'm I, I, got my, I got my people that I'm close to. All right. All right. I'm sure you I, I've made a decision not to involve you in all this crap because you are in the middle. I don't You're feel absolutely in the middle. I don't feel in the middle. Whatever. Okay. I don't feel in the middle. Fair enough. But I'm sure you think that somehow I'm against you. I'm sure I, I'm positive. You, I'm, you know, I didn't say that. You don't have to. I didn't say that. I, I know. It's everybody else. I got it. What? No, it, I took for responsibility for no, myself. I know, no, I know, I know, I know. I no, sit here I, I did. Right. I uh, did. Cool. But other people need to take responsibility too. Okay? Yes. All right? I'm not the only one that needs to take responsibility. It's, it gets ridiculous after a while. He did some really shitty things. Well, I, And some of the stuff I found out recently is it, it blows my mind. It blows my mind. So, no, I will not be in, a, in the same room as him anytime soon. So you're not going to the Patrice benefit? I got to figure it out. All right. Got to figure it out. So. Anyway. Whatever, man. What? What do you mean, what? I mean, whatever. It's, it's always uncomfortable. It's always uncomfortable. Then, then you don't have to be here. Why well, are you here? If it's so uncomfortable, why are you here? Explain uh, that to me. Why are you here then? Because I so like performing. Okay. And this is my job. So you could perform in other ways. You could have your own show here. You could do a million no, things. No, I can't have my own but show why here. Would you, why would you walk into an uncomfortable situation every day if it's uncomfortable? Why don't you why? ask yourself that too? I'm fine. I, you're I'm not happy. fine. I'm happy. I didn't say I wasn't happy, but you're not fine. I'm fine. Okay. You, you don't know the first thing about me. I'm fine. I know. I don't know you. I've been working with you 15 years. You're right. I don't know anything about you. You don't Come know. Much. You don't know. You, you you're don't, right. No, no. I know nothing about you. You're right. You're, you, you don't I know a lot correct. about me. You're right. You, don't, you, don't. you guys, is this a real fight? Huh? It's a big bickering. You, do you fake it for the radio? No. Oh, God. No. 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 <laughs> you haven't told not to talk about it. You've been told not to talk about it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's real serious shit. Yeah, but I, I I don't what do you, but what me and you not fucking like what? Uh -uh. So I'll do this till October, and then you can get a new partner, and I'll move on. I'm not going to quit my fucking job. I didn't this say this is my gig. I didn't say you should quit, but if you're not if you if you're not comfortable here, then that's on you, not me. 
I'm comfortable here. You're not always comfortable. I'm comfortable you here. You can't even look at me half the time. I'm talk- I'm doing Uncle Paul. You're literally looking into the monitor like, I wish this guy would just go away. Uh, I'm not a fan of Uncle Paul. You know that. We've talked about it. Whatever. But you're not a fan of some of the stuff I talk about either. So it's, it's just what it is. But I don't stare into a monitor like I'm being molested when no, you're, you're doing No, you stare into your phone or completely ignore me. I mean, it, it, hap- it happens all the time. But believe it or not. It I- happens all the time. If you're not into what I'm saying, you completely ignore me. Are you kidding me? Do you really want to have this conversation? Yes, I do. You sit there and and go on your phone and completely ignore me. But I, I feel can, like I'm 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 talking to a wall. I I know you do, but not realizing that I can look at my phone and I can also participate in a discussion. I know how to talk as well. Oh, you can, tap out. You completely tap uh, out on things. You know that. Maybe if we're talking about something and you just automatically switch the subject because you don't want to talk about it, maybe then. No, it's a tough spot to be in. Sometimes I just. No, I know, I, I know, I know. I don't know how to talk. Like, I'm talking before. No, I'm just saying what talking about before. What happened like, we're before? Talking, we're talking about Sydney party. We're just doing something. I'm talking about something, right. and then all of a sudden it's like so. Trump Trump. And it's like, okay, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you with my personal life. Like, you just, oh, you just. Wow, you're crazy. You're literally crazy. That's how is that crazy? That bit was fine. What? I but thought you just, I, point you're is, crazy. That's not crazy. That you was walk the, away that was, from things. That was the bit of the day, and then, and then it. it Felt like where I sit, it was time to move on. So we moved on to the truth. But that's and, not and people it, having a discussion. I know what and, you're saying. And, and if it wasn't, then I'm sorry. But we, I know what you're some saying. Good shit there. I know what you're saying. But it's 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 not always okay. Trump. It's like we're just having a discussion about something. It just feels unnatural I, to jump into something else. Well, that's what you do with radio. You move oh. on to other things. I guess. I guess. I wasn't cutting you off. That we got good material out of that. I, I, I didn't know you were done. I, I know, but we're just all talking about something, and we're just jumping to something. But you're saying, why do I tap out and go on my phone? I didn't know what to say about Trump. Like, what was I going to say about him? Uh, it's a huge story. I know, dude. I talk about it on stage every night. I know. All right. I know. It's a big story. But the Portier thing, I thought you. I thought we were done. That's all. I didn't cut you. I didn't feel like I was cutting you off, and if I did, I apologize, but... We got great stuff out of it. The feedback on it was wonderful. And you're asking me, why do I come here if I'm uncomfortable? Well, if you don't trust me with stuff, why are you on the air with somebody you don't trust? I didn't. I didn't say it. In, that, no, that's more of that's. Or you're not that close to why? Why? If you, why are you doing radio every day with somebody who you just genuinely don't like that much? I didn't say I didn't like you. That is the. Same I thing. didn't say I didn't like you. Now you're you're going far with that shit. Well, we both. I think like, everybody- I, like I said day one, we were both put into into a horrendous situation, a weird situation. I I do like you, Jimmy. Okay. And in general, I have a good time in here. But what do you? In general, I have more. I've had more fun doing radio than I've had in years in here. Okay. I well, think everybody's feelings are just hurt. No, I don't feel. No. I don't feel like my feelings are hurt. I don't feel wounded by that. I'm not like, oh, how could you? S-? It's like, what do you think if you tell me something that happened that I'm, I'm not involved with, but I'm still, it's still a part of the whole story here. Because what happens is when you do stuff like that, like I asked, I wasn't like, going to say anything. That that's the point I'm making. But I wasn't. Gonna, I wasn't that's the point, I'm, dude. That let me finish, please. That's the yeah, point I'm making. Yeah, go ahead. When you said because when she said I was on Anthony's, you did react. You didn't react like fuck him. You reacted like it, it was a noticeable thing. Wh- whatever it was, because well, we talked about it yesterday. I don't know why it was brought up again today. She felt it, and I felt it. That's fine. So it's a real reaction. Right. So don't don't say that you're not like you do react to it. So then the next reaction is okay. Why are you reacting that way? I thought everything was kind of mellow, and then I hear he's going to be at the Patrice Beth. I'm like, oh, I wonder if you're going to you guys are just going to chat. So I asked the natural question. I'm not chatting with him. Okay, but you come back with no. This other stuff happened, like, which I don't know about. Which I was uh, keeping between uh, you know me and a few a few people I trust and, and right. They, so you, and, think and I'm, you actually out. think I'm going to go in and say it on the air or go back and tell somebody? I didn't. I didn't say that. You said me and a few people I trust. Yeah, I got people I trust in my life. Yes, and That's I talk terrific. and I talk to a lot. I talk to a lot. Okay. We, we, I mean, we don't talk a lot. Off no, air. I'm not saying we do or that we should or that we will. This has just become what it is, and it's nice, and I do enjoy it. But but we don't really, uh, you know, talk on any level outside here. I know, I know, and it's uh, you 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 think you take responsibility, dude, and and but you you do for part of it and on the surface, but you don't sometimes. You don't like what? Just in general, you have no idea. You have literally no idea how your moods affect other people. I'm then, not, I'm not saying you be, gotta go. I will in October. I'm fine here. I know you're fine. I'm fine here, here and I and, and I in enjoy October, what I'm doing. doing. We don't need to reiterate it. In October, I'm done. I don't want to wait till October. Then that's ridiculous. Well, I'm I'm not quitting my fucking. Job. I didn't say that. Well, then what am I going to do? Are you going to fire me? You can't. I'm not saying you can't. Because I fire everybody else, or I'm just asking. Why would no. I, why would I fire you? Because you have the ability to. Because you? you're my boss. 
Why? But why would it do that? Because you just I've, said why wait till October. Well, that's you're the one who but just that's said. Silly, though, if you're if you're not happy here, then you could, why would you stay till October? Because it's a, it's money. It's my job. Again, it's, I'm not a three year old. It's my job. So maybe there's other ways to do it. N and how? They, I don't know. Let's ask would, the company. They would. You ask the company. You no. have more connections. I'm not the one that goes up and talks to them. I don't have no relationship with someone. Them. Has to. Well, you that have was, to. Yeah, that was never fun for do me. You guys want me to talk to them? Huh? I would, it would be yeah, lovely. You go down the hall. You go down the hall, but you know. Hi, Esther. <sighs> but yeah, you could talk to them, dude. I mean, you have Hi. a relationship with them. I don't. I could throw you under the bus. I don't I've, know. I've, I've looked at you. Not. I, you know, I've done. I feel like oh, we should go outside and take a bong hit. A bong hit. Jeez. Yeah. How high are you? You feel like what? I know you. I know they would have gotten rid of me with Ant. They would have been happy to cut my salary and get rid of me. Of course, I know that. They That's asked stupid. me. I know they did. They absolutely asked of me. Of course, they did. And you, you were also one of the, you know, the one of the people that definitely said we, we, we sh should continue. Yeah, I like having a job. Yeah, you, you know, you were very insistent on that in the beginning. Yeah, it's my job. Right. I like doing it. I like doing this for a living. But you think I don't? But I get all this shit for moving on without Ant. It's ridiculous that I'm the only one that gets this shit for moving on without Ant. I know you want me to get this shit too. I I, I do. I, no, I, no, I'm I more know. surprised that I'm. Uh, it's it's. I get all the focus. It's ridiculous. And I know you're. Surprised. Everyone knew that me and Anthony fucking hated each other's guts, and now I'm learning the shit he was doing behind the scenes, and it's fucking brutal. I know you're. And then surprised. people are like, wow, you, you you threw your partner of twenty years under the bus. No, no, it was a long time fucking coming. If we had any type of relationship, we, we would have continued together in some form. But it was so obvious, and you knew it too. I you had you to have known how bad it was. You had to have known. I know you guys weren't getting along, but so what? I mean, meaning, like, when he got fired, I knew you guys were fighting. Yeah, I knew, I knew a lot of it. I knew why you were fighting. We weren't even fighting. We weren't talking in general, at all. You we know know weren't I'm even saying. talking. You know what I mean. I knew where the tension was. I knew where the tension was. He didn't. He didn't respect, you know, me as far as his radio show goes. But continued doing it and then doing shitty things behind the fucking scenes. Yeah, but you keep saying that. Well, like I don't know what. What do you? What shitty? You, you say you found out stuff that he was doing recently. Yeah. I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe it is. I don't know. Well, it's it's pretty pretty solid. Yes, pretty solid. Will you tell me? Mm -mm. Well, you talk to the company. What do I want to tell you, dude? I mean, you're you are my boss. I'm, that's yeah. Ridiculous. No, it's not. No, no it, it's contractually, you're my boss, dude. It, it, you're, you're my not, boss. I can't get you. I can't fire you. Yes, you can. No, I can't. It's news. I probably shouldn't be telling it. Yes, you can. I don't. No. Okay. I, don't I know the so. contract. I know you don't, but I know the contract. Not, it, there's there's he nothing. Want there's nothing. Fire you. There's nothing in the contract that says I could fire I'm you. I'm here. I'll, I'll tell you exactly what the contract says because I didn't trust the. The company as much. I can get fired from the company if I really fuck up. Like if I really do something egregious or, or terrible or pull my dick out in the hallway or I fucking, you know, roll a bowling ball down in the Scott's office from up here, I could get fired. But in order for me to get fired uh, for, for basically light stuff, it has to be you or it was you. And it was at the pleasure of Opie and Anthony. And then it became the pleasure of opioid. So I'm here. You are the buffer between me and the company. So you can fire me a lot easier than they can. Contractually, unless I really fucked up, but mm. I haven't really fucked up. So you, if you want to move on, could could talk to the company and they would do it because they would love to cut my salary. Well, I told you for they're not awful to me. They they're not terrible to me here, dude. They not they don't treat me terrible. However, I've told you since day one they don't give a fuck if I'm here or not. And you're like, no, dude, they like you. I'm like, dude, you stop. I'm too they, smart for that. They absolutely asked me. I said, of course, I'd continue with Jimmy. But the period. fact that they had to ask you that shows you exactly where they put me in the mix. No, they, That's wanted, why. they wanted to know what the, you know what it was going to be after that, you know, after Ant got fired. So they, they sat me down and said, you know, what is this now going to be? We they wanted, were probably we wanted crossing their fingers. We like, continue. we don't want to lose Norton. No, they don't. They we don't. wanted to continue with you. So what, what do you see as the new show? That's exactly the conversation I had. Exactly. I understand. And in all fairness, you don't look at me either. So, so now what? That's on. I, me. But hold on. So that's now on me because you think, uh, uh, you know, you never look at me. But I, I, I swear to you, I get the same exact. Feeling. I, I know you do. I know. So, I do. I know you feel like what you're saying. I know that. 
I really believe you. I know you're not bullshitting me, but I'm telling you, we're, t- we're talking about things half the time, and you are looking at everybody else in the room. And it's a weird thing. And I'm doing, I'm not saying it's a like Uncle Paul. It's just a bit on the dumb radio show. But your reaction to it is literally like you're being beaten with something and you're staring into them. Like, yeah, it's uh, a weird, it, it's, it's not a silence. It's a silence that is meant to make a statement. And we've talked about it. I apologize to you that I, I, I don't react better to it. But then, you know, I mean, 99% of the shit you do, I'm fucking laughing my balls I, off I and pushing forward. It's just, it, when you do a radio show, you're not going to like every single thing. And I feel bad that I, I get it in the way of that one but it's it's just really fucking weird to me that's all it's creepy. not it's not the laughter i don't need you to laugh like i don't but want just, you to fake laugh but that part oh god i'm not fake laughing i'm not that's saying my, you that, are i'm just my, saying that's not what i want but that's my point i'm not fake laughing i'm i i generally love everything you do on the radio show so who gives a fuck it's one thing and then i try to see how i could you know work it better or just stay out of the conversation or something i don't know because it derails it and it's a, it's a weird it's it's, it's it's like i said it's a silence that says something it's not a silence that is so yeah but th- you do the exact same thing with some of the stuff i talk about it just it's just what it is if you're not into some you're not into something i mean what can i tell you i know you don't give a shit about half the stuff i i bring up it's fine it's not uh, that i don't give a shit about the stuff sometimes the timing t- of it's could, odd but it's not, you, you know completely tap out too so i mean what are we trying to say here what do i tap out of uh, I'd have to sit down and think about it, but I mean, there's. I'll start talking about something and go, okay, and, and I get no reaction. Sometimes you gotta, sometimes you gotta work the conversation to see where the sweet spot is and see where it could go. And if you're not interested in something, you absolutely I think tap that, out. That quickly. happens in every relationship where two people spend a lot of time together. You just eventually tap out. Right. Good it's times. almost it's almost natural, you know. Anybody who works together is married. You know, you guys have been working together for so long. Like, right. I mean, it's just, if you didn't tap out, then you guys might be in love, you know? Yeah. I mean, it, you know, all stems down to, it was time for the Opie and Anthony show to to end, and people should just, you know, understand that. And I, I, get, I get a lot of heat for that, because I didn't go to bad form, which is ridiculous, because I did absolutely all the time in the fucking past. We had nothing left to offer. We wouldn't fucking look at each other. We wouldn't fucking talk to each other. We wouldn't call each other anymore. He didn't give a fuck about what I, I said on this radio show anymore. And and quite frankly, I didn't give a fuck about a lot of the stuff he was doing. At that point, we lost our fucking chemistry. So it was time to end the show. And then to get, for me to get all the heat is so ridiculous, I can't even tell you. It's so obvious that it was time to move on. And that's why I wish him nothing but the best as he can, you know, continues with his career. But the shit I found out of the stuff he was doing behind the scenes is just unfor- uh, unforgivable, period. But how do you know it's even true? Uh, I mean, I mean, I, I can't go down the road right now. I really can't. Okay. Not at this time. Not at this time. But you say, like, well, we're not close like that, which is... But the, the amount of my... Sorry, pro- no, 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 you, no, 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 you're not, you're we're, not letting me finish, not. dude. That's not what I'm saying. That's but, not what I'm saying. Right. I'm not hurt by that. We're shocked by it. The amount of my personal life I expose on this radio show is fucking astronomical. Now, I know with a family, you can't expose all that stuff. But you literally give 5% of that, 10% of that, and you expect me to or other people to expose their personal life. And everything, uh, everything I do that's embarrassing or humiliating or in the moment... I talk about right and then it comes down to we're joking the other day about something and and somebody says something like what's your song like you told me the wedding song or some shit you're like oh you put me on the spot like right. like you don't even want to offer that up and it's like how much and then and it, how come you didn't say this well it's because I we're not close like that and it's like well all I do is fucking talk about my personal life and the shit that's going on right so that's you you're way more open than probably 99.9 percent of the people I've ever met in my life you're an exception to the rule that still, when something is happening that affects the radio show, if it affects the radio show, and then you're not going to make me privy to it, if it's got anything to do with me, even in a peripheral way, is unfair. Mm, I guess, but, you know, I'm not saying it on the air right now. I, of course not. You know. But you, didn't, you don't even send me a text to let me know certain other things that, that had happened. I, I, I got to read them in the paper? Yeah, you do at this point. 
Sadly, yeah. Like, why? Because we, I never felt like I could talk to you. You like, don't feel like you could trust not me? Not anymore. We used to. We used to be really close. No, you, you know that? And we used, to, we used to talk a lot and stuff. I felt like it got to a point, yeah, I just couldn't really talk to you about that stuff anymore. Why? I don't know. I don't know what changed. You're you think, I, I honestly don't I'll know. I'll tell you what changed. You think, or you're afraid that I'm going to run back and say something. You, you're afraid, like I'm a fucking, like I'm an errand boy, who I'm going to run back and, and give a report on what you're talking to me about. That's what it that, is. You don't want to say no, that's that what might, it is. That might be part and of it. That is insulting. That might be part of it. I don't know. That might be part of it. Right. Might be. Right. That's that's no, I'm saying it might be a, a part it's of a it. It's a huge part of it. And that's why I said paranoid before. Like you think I'm gonna run back and fucking report to other other men? I love Anthony. But I'm not going to run back and report like a fucking uh, a, a grown man. Guess what he said to me today? It doesn't work that way. That's fine. It doesn't work that way. That's fine. I support him. I do his show. Because, again, he's my friend. And you know, you know the relationship. I mean. He, I'm, uh, he, he definitely talked to you about shit. He definitely did. What about, I mean, the famous text message where he was calling me a cunt and was sending it to you casually. So obviously he probably did that from time to time. And he, he, he sent it to me by accident. I remember and, the text. And then, and then he quickly blamed, you know, saying it was you when I knew. No, he didn't blame me. No, he, he didn't. He said it to me. He goes, I'll explain later. I'll explain later. Uh, I, I, I was talking about Jimmy. He was throwing you out of the bus. I'm like, no, you weren't. You, you were sending that to Jimmy, and, and you sent it to me by accident. What he said was that he was sending it to a girl. But I, you're asking me to speak for a text message that he sent. Huh? You're asking me to address a text message but, that he sent. But that was certainly, you know, suspicious that he was comfortable enough to be sending you text messages during the show, which is kind of fucking creepy. But who says he was sending the text message to me during the show? Why, why are we talking about that? It's just one of the examples of some of the dirty shit that was going on while we're just trying to do a radio show together. It was, what the fuck? Like, the, the issues I had with Anthony, I would call him up and try to work it out. And he chose to, to, to do it another way. C continue making believe everything was fine and doing some shit behind the scenes. And you're afraid if you tell me so-and-so had this happen, I'm going to run back. Like, I, that is I'm, just... not, I'm not afraid. You're just not, you're just not on that level these days, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. You're just not. We don't, you're just not. I got it, dude. It's okay. fine. It's fine. You know. Come October, I'll go. If you want me faster to go, I'm not fucking firing you. That's ridiculous. Well, I'm giving my notice for October, and I'll do the radio show, and I'll be funny on the radio show, despite this discussion. I mean, you know, it's my job. I can be funny on the radio show. Okay, be weird though now. It's um, December now. Yeah, I mean, October just passed. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. We got it, ten months left. Yeah. But hey, look, if you want to move me to a different, I mean, what are you going to do? What can I possibly do? If you, you the company is going to wind up firing me. So when it takes all when it takes all the shots at me, you just make believe he's not doing that or what shots? You 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 no 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 no. When I'm on the show, isn't it shots? No, I'm, I'm not on saying when you're on the show. All the all the shitty things he said about me since you know since he got fired. That's you're just fine with all that and you're cool with that. Your or, relationship. I, I'm just asking for real. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'll be real honest. He's um, taking shots at my my wife. He's taking shots at me and everything I do on this I've radio show. I've never heard him take a shot at your wife, ever. Well, then you should pay closer attention. But I, I don't. I worry about my own stand-up career, and I don't worry. I don't. I love Ant, but in all honesty, I don't listen to this show when I'm not here. I don't listen to... But you know he takes shots at me all the time, so you have to know that. But I also know... Because that's being self-aware, like you say I'm not. You have to know he does that, right? Yeah, but I, I never heard him take a shot at your wife. He absolutely ever. has. But, I, but, you're, but I've never heard it. Yeah. I've never heard of it. The sex uh, tape bullshit from back in the day, when he when he decided to take an hour and a half and just beat the living shit out of me on his show, uh, one of the the final things was they were asking about that tape and he goes, "Well, I'll just I'll just leave it for the internet to speculate." He knows damn well that whole fucking thing was bullshit and fake. He yeah. knows it. Yeah, of course, everybody so, knows it. So he should have fucking left my wife out of it, but he he couldn't help himself. I'll let the internet speculate. Keep speculating on that. He knows what that did to me and my fucking family. And he knows it was complete fucking bullshit. And he knows it was the fucking guy that he invited to his fucking party. And, uh, and then because of that party, th th that guy couldn't help himself and, and texted me 40, 50, 60 fucking times harassing me and my kids and my wife. Yeah. Which led to a fucking restraining order, which now I'm fighting in fucking court. 
Yeah, I know. I know all that. But you but know the guy's been taking shots at me. That's, for, yes. That, I, I think does that bother about, you at all? I, I don't. Because maybe that plays into it, too, because I'm sitting here like, wow, I do a radio show with the guy every day. He knows the other guy's taking shots at me all the time. Yeah, but when Anthony comes up on this show, I literally try to take the high road. And, and I know you're in the middle, but does it, as a human being, bother you at all? What bothers me between both of you, and I said this from day one, is that you both had conditions under which you would talk at, like meaning when Ant got fired and his show came up and, and I went on his show the first day I called and he was on Long Island and I said I said this to you on the air when you when and you and Ant were having that big fight I said this to you you should have went on his show regardless of the personal stuff that my opinion was that the support for his endeavor as a professional guy as a member of this show should have been the groundswell of support should have come from us and it should have been from this show regardless of all the personal stuff i told you that from day one yeah it would have made so, my hold life. On, you're asking me right, how, how does it feel do i feel and then you said stuff which i knew what you meant when you said it dude like i really did like when you would say stuff like management likes the direction of the show i knew you weren't motherfucker in him I knew you were saying that in defense of us. We were getting attacked. People were being very unfair. These guys are fucking traitors. They're cunts. And you said, hey, management likes. You weren't saying fuck Anthony. You, well, were, sti and, you were sticking up for us. And spun it to, to, to mean we, we, I was saying fuck Anthony. No, we were fighting for our fucking lives. But, but, when, but he can't see past himself half the yeah, but I'm, time. But when I heard that as the guy in the room with you, right. I'm like, why would he? Like, I know what you meant. Right. But yet that does not sound like... I'm defending my guy. That sounds like the people that gave us the hard time all these years that we railed against, now they like what we're doing, and it's, I'm just telling you. Yeah. So when he takes shots, like whether you mean to take a shot like that or not, that, that's, it's, it's a back and forth between you guys. And I would see certain things on Twitter that you would say, that I don't think you meant to be horrible. I really don't think you were trying to be attacking. Right. But I understand the back and forth between you guys. Right. So well, you're asking, how do I feel about it? There's things that both of you have said that I really wished you had not said. And there's also things that you guys have not said that I'm fucking happy you haven't. My little subtle Twitter things doesn't even compare to the stuff he's been saying. And doing on See, his on on his end, and and I will say say this for the record, it had nothing to do with Anthony. I know that. it was us fighting for our fucking lives because they they weren't. It wasn't even a guarantee they were going to re-sign us in October. We were finishing out the end of our fucking contract. We were we were fighting to, uh, to keep this show alive, and you know uh, we're doing something right because it's working very very well. You, but you're asking. I'm answering your question. Okay, you're saying to right. me, "How does it make me feel when that happens?" I I don't want to see it happen. I don't want to be taking shots at you any more than I want you to be saying that stuff for whatever reason. Because I know how that's right. Because I know how I hear it, and I'm sitting right with you, and I right. know what your intention is. You right. really weren't. I know you weren't taking a shot at him, and well, I knew in the moment you weren't. Well, you probably should have brought it up on the show, and we would have, you know, who me? Why not? And say, "Wow, what you tweeted was a little strange, considering where where we're at." Look, at why not? We're doing it right now. Well, seriously, or call because me. Because I did, because I, first of all, you always have a reason like, well, this is why it wasn't that bad. And I did talk to you about it. I, I, I did say that to you that one. about the, uh, the whole thing about not going on his show. And, and to be honest with you, I wouldn't know what to say to the guy. I'm not, I, and to be honest with you, dude, like when you're saying something like that, like, uh, and, uh, you know, how you, that tweet you sent out, I knew you would have just said no, but I meant this because I did know what you meant. And we have talked about it. Like, no, you probably should have called me and said, but you, you understand why people are spinning this, maybe. Well, how do you not understand it? You're not a dumb guy. How do oh, no, you I, not I, get it? I, I did see, I did see that at that point when, ah, oh, fuck. And maybe I should have said something on the air. Maybe, but the, the, you know, I'm telling you, it wasn't my intention. And at that point, to allow the personal stuff, the professional stuff, look, I mean, people don't know behind the scenes. They think that you, I, I know you went to bat for the guy. I, I really do. I, I know that you called them. Dude, they were fucking mad at Anthony for years around here, and, and I went to bat for him I understand in, my little, all that, dude. in my dumb little ways. But by the end of it, we had nothing else to offer. We were done as a radio show, and the chemistry was completely gone. And so for people, to say after 20 years that I threw him under the bus is completely ridiculous. He got himself fired. When period. You, when you say to me, why don't, how do I feel him taking shots? And I said, you should have went on this show. Because on a professional level, even if you guys had no personal relationship left, the, the, the support for the guy, you, you know, you're the guy with the gig. 
I'm the guy with the gig. Like we, I, mean, I know we didn't get ourselves far. I get, it, but we got the gig. So right. the, the man out should have gotten the support from this show, not just in casual asides or mentions, but legitimate support. So you're saying why is all the hate directed at you? First of all, I get enough of it. Believe me, they right. don't fucking like me either. Not really. <laughs> like, not, no, not, only, not, they right. do. Not, they really not, don't. Not right, really. Guys, this oh, is Justin, not, hold on. There's two grown ups talking. I, I, I know you're trying to help, but we're discussing something. We're not I yelling understand. at each other. I'm not telling the guy to go kill himself. We're discussing. Uh, they do not like you, you know what, what I'm doing. You know, Ant manipulates a lot of the listeners to fucking hate me, right? You know that part of this too. Um, and it, which is amazing to me because we started out as brothers. We did 20 years together. It, it, it didn't even end shitty. We had nothing. We had no chemistry, and we and we were done offering anything because when he talked, I wasn't listening to him anymore. When I talked, he wasn't listening to me anymore. And it was time to end the fucking thing. And then when he started his show, I honestly have no idea how would, I would have done the show, knowing you know where we were at how before he even got fired. First of all, I don't know that he's manipulating people. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you, you tell me I need to be a little more self-aware. If you just open your eyes, it's obvious. My that, eyes are that, wide that open. Dude. I'm, I'm fairly self-aware. Not 100%. Why, but why spent is it my that entire adult everyone life. that's around Anthony has to hate me? Have you figured that one out on your own? And people that I've never met in my life have no fucking relationship with. They all have to fucking hate me to be part of Anthony's thing. That's really strange to me. Um, that I is really strange. I, I would understand if it was something, someone that uh, you know I have bad blood with and had a relationship. But I'm talking about guys I've never met. So who hates you that has never met you? G Gavin's one of them. He obsessively fucking attacks me. I've never met the fucking guy. Does he attack you on a personal level or professional level? Uh, on, a, on a professional level. Well, then it's nothing to do with knowing it, you. He, uh, he's he's reciting you know bullshit that is out there uh, that Anthony had said on his own fucking show. But if people I don't, never met the fucking guy, why why is he obsessively hating on I, me? I, why? I don't know. But I'm I'm asking but, but I'm, I'm telling, legitimately that's ridiculous. He does, maybe he doesn't like you. I in all honesty, I've we've never ne met the fucking guy. In all honesty, I have met him and we've never discussed that. Like literally I don't know. I've had my own weird run in with Gavin. Gavin, we talked it out. I called him, we talked for an hour, we argued on the phone. Right. That was my first introduction to Gavin. Right. Um I don't know. Maybe you should have addressed it. I get. I can't speak to why Gavin doesn't like you. I don't know. I, and never, I don't care that he doesn't like me, but it's weird when someone you've never met. But why you? To me, to say that Aunt manipulated that or that that to me is a little unfair. Like that's. Oh, I mean, I could. I come mean, on. There's, to, there's way more than than that. It's obviously manipulates manipulates the audience. Uh, uh, you have to hate me to listen to Aunt's show. It's it's so fucking obvious. There's a group of them. It's so fucking obvious. But so where does that come everybody, from? Everybody, is there's, it? There's a group. No, but there's a group of them that uh, hates a, me, and you get more of it. And I've said you get a lot more people, of it. I think more people hate me. A lot of them do more hate you too. More people hate me. Well, they fucking hate your laugh. They, they, they do. No, they don't like Esther. They really do find. As, and and that's why I think a lot of them are full of shit because no matter who comes on the show no matter who does well on the show they start to hate they started hating Dan Soder they fuck Dan but then he's then when he does Big J show they like him so it's like a lot of times people who anyone who comes Arson. on this show well, anyone who comes on this show they start to hate so you think I don't know that bullshit but that's not Ant making that happen dude and and you think they don't hate me because you get more of it they hate my fucking they hate, guts they hate everybody. Wait till the property brothers come in. They hate my in. fucking stand up. Really hate they oh, hate God. my I fucking know guts. Scheduled. They hate my guts. You don't think they do because you look for stuff about you, just I like mean, Jim Norton looks for I, stuff about himself. I look for stuff about me. I don't really look for stuff though. But it, it pops up. It, it pops up. You're course, right. But I'm not, I'm not looking at any of that shit. I mean, maybe when Gavin, you know, when Gavin being like weird with you, like he just feels loyalty to his boss, you know, and it's just yeah, like, but it doesn't like it that's before. stupid. That does, it doesn't have to I be know, that. So, that's my whole so point. Stupid, it doesn't have to be that it, way. That's how it is with like you we know. We started the show as fucking brothers, and after 20 years, we were in a shitty place. Yes, but why? But why not just move the fuck on? Yeah, it's why not? I, when people bring up Anthony in the show in general. You know, maybe sometimes I grip my teeth, but I, I I go, I wish him nothing but the best. And I don't encourage people to fucking not listen You're to him. You're not the woman in encourage... Times Square who was punching him. And I don't encourage... Wait, wait, why are they blaming you, you know? Huh? I don't know. I didn't get, I didn't get him fired. Right. You know? He hasn't taken responsibility what for were, any of that shit. He blames to... everybody and, and everything. What were you supposed to he do? Knows not that... have a show, you know? And he knows that management was having some real fucking issues with him. He knows all that. Our agent was being called and all that crap. So it probably shouldn't have been a surprise to him.
They didn't like all the racist fucking talk day in and day out. They didn't like a lot of the, you know, that he was taking a, a, a lot of fucking sick days. That, that had nothing to do with me. Nothing. So when he got fired, he shouldn't have been surprised. They, they were having discussions with him and, and our agent for a while about stuff. So then to turn around and blame me, that's fucking ridiculous. Take responsibility. You know you were in a weird fucking place. But dude, you're saying something like, they don't hate me, they just hate you. And it's like, are you crazy? They can't fucking... You get more uh, of it. You do. But I get a fucking... A lot of fucking hatred from these people. All right. Who feel I'm a disloyal cunt, and I'm a fucking piece of shit for being here. You, you think I don't get that? Like... You, you don't read my fucking emails or the tweets I get. Come on, man. Again, you get more well, of it. Well, a lot of people feel like, uh, you know, the obvious show is you and Anthony. So why aren't you doing that? I mean, well, first of all, he Because you guys absolutely still had the chemistry. When me and Anthony were extremely popular, it was because we had amazing fucking chemistry. And then when you came in, we all had amazing chemistry. By the end of the Opie and Anthony show, me and Anthony's chemistry was shit. And, but you guys still had really good chemistry. And that, and that is out there. A lot of people wonder why you, you and him aren't doing a show together. It's a, it's a real question. I, I understand that. I understand. And then that. I hear you come in here, and you know it's you know my mood and this and that. I I you know I I I wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do what? I wouldn't come into a, a, a shitty situation day in and day out. I didn't say it was a shitty situation in, day in and day out. And you, first of all, yes, you would because you did for a long time. So don't well, say you would. Well, that yeah. Come on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right. I, I will adjust. I felt trapped. Yes, I felt trapped and didn't know what the fuck to do. I started thinking the the obvious thing because there is a fan base to to consider too. That if we would have split the show at the end of that contract, it would have been beautiful for everybody. And I think the company would have went for it. And I, I say it again, I never officially had a discussion like that with anybody. But in my own dumb head, I was thinking maybe that's the way to go. And then maybe we do a little radio together. Maybe if we only saw each other every once in a while, that would be better. And maybe we could handle that. So I was, I was thinking that. But in general, I, I, I feel like I'm in, I come in here in a good mood, and I feel like you know we're doing good radio. And may, and may the you, last couple of weeks have been a little strange. But I, but but I, I, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know. Well, we, like you said, you said it. I don't look at you, and you don't look at me. So that, hey, isn't that strange? Half the times I come in the morning, I'll say, hey, hey, everybody. And you either don't say anything, and maybe it's your hearing, but literally you don't say anything. I, I think, you, I'm telling you, just my experience yeah, walking in the morning, right. I walk in, and you probably, I don't know if you resent that I'm not here earlier, but that's not the way I perform. No, I, I'm, okay, fine. No. But I walk in, and a lot, I'll say good morning, or I'll go, hey, what's up, or, or, you know, good morning, ladies, or whatever dumb shit I say, and I, half the times, you do not respond. I feel, I feel the same way to, uh, to you when you come in, in general. Like, it's just really weird and awkward. But I say hello every morning when I walk in. Uh, I'm, you're always here before me. Right. I don't know. It just always seems just like not I, not genuine. I say hello when I walk in. No, it just feels very like almost uh, not like almost forced. Almost okay, like oh, so here we are again. Hi, what's up? You know, and so, I feel like I do say hello back more than fifty percent. But if you're saying but the that, fact is, if you just said that, like the guy walks in that you're working with every day and says hello, mm -hmm. you think that I have a motive for saying hello that feels forced and awkward. I Instead think of, people just have different greeting styles. But I mean, I'm just, <laughs> I, but I'm, I'm being honest about the way I feel when I walk in. I'm literally just saying good morning, hello, everybody, because you guys are all usually in mid-discussion about something, and yeah. you're acknowledging, I, I okay, I do acknowledge you more a little more than 50% of the time. So don't, t it's like, no, how do you not think that's on? But, but I don't do that to everybody else. For some reason, that's where me because and you, you are at. Because you guys have so okay, much time to say hello. From your on end. the air. I See, don't you, feel comfortable around you. I don't feel like, but why? like you give a fuck about me. Uh, th then, then why don't, again, when I called you two weeks ago and I go, or I text you, I'm like, is everything cool? And you're like, yeah, everything's yeah, we, cool. And, and it was, and we, we discussed it. And then the last, uh, I don't know, the last four weeks have been weird again. If, so yeah, I, don't know, I don't know why. Well, maybe this one's on you, dude. Maybe, uh -huh. maybe you're feeling, it, you Jimmy, just said, it, I feel like Jimmy, you don't, I don't give a fuck about you. But it can't always be on me. You don't, you, you just are you said, trying to tell me you don't come in here with your own fucking moods? Most of my moods have, every time I walk in here in the morning, if I have a mood. It's it has, obvious to everyone. And I know you're going to say, well, fuck, it's obvious to everyone when you come yeah, in the mood. Yeah, that's the way it is. But, people, but it's yes. extremely obvious when you're in a mood. But I can't think of the last time I walked in here in a lousy mood about something with the radio show. 
Anything that allows you in the mood is because I'm fucking dealing with contractors or I almost lost a 10% deposit on something. Yeah, but, and no, I t- but I don't know that or anyone else doesn't know that. Of course you know that. I did. T- of co- I've talked to you about it. Of course no, you did. No, there are times, yes, because when push comes to shove, uh, we will tell each other because I got into the habit of finally telling you because I know my uh, emotions are on my face. I go, look, I'm in a weird place. This happened last night or whatever. So I started t- you know, telling you that type of thing. But you just do, buddy, you just said when I walked in. I don't. Just- I don't agree that I, I I feel like I say hi to you almost every morning. I really do. I, I know you I do. Really but I'm do. telling you as the person who experiences the lack of hello from you, that you don't. I'm, I'm, I, and I know I mean, it's, it's an odd feeling. Right. And then you're saying, well, when you walk in, I feel like it's this forced... Like what are you talking? Maybe just, your hello's like at a two. We need to raise it to like an eight. But I or or or, or make it a nice. two. You know I don't, what I don't I mean? It's a zero. I'll just be like hi. But like, will that help? Do you, well, you know, it would be lovely once in a while. <laughs> but, but, Wait, but what about your goodbye? But you just Who said it. Who cares about the greeting? Here's what the, the problem is. You, you don't think I give a fuck about you. That's what it all comes down to. And a big part of it is because I do go on Ann's show, and I am comfortable with him, and I do have chemistry about You're him. You're way and, more oh, comfortable oh, with him. And you see that, because he and I are more... I'll, I'll tell you what it is. And, and this is where everything has got... You would see me and Ant. And have, having these, the, the way we do comedy or the way we perform, we're reaction performing. That's right. how we perform. Right. And then you're a guy who, I know you people say you steer the ship and you don't do it, but I, I, we understood the necessity, we are the ones who understood the necessity of fucking, and, and defended that when people would attack you. Right. And you would get uncomfortable sometimes watching he and I because you felt like you were watching two guys do something and you didn't feel like you were a part of it and you resented it and you didn't understand even you're the guy in the room. You didn't understand how you were a part of it. That was that was. I didn't resent it. I realized, oh boy, here we go. This is this show is ending as I know it. The chemistry was gone. You guys performed for each other, and now that, that that's how the but show was. It wasn't was. just each other. It was. Nah, it, I was. Opie, I, it was. I'm telling you, what I like to get a laugh from everybody in the room. Oh, I was laughing and stuff, but I. You know, like I said, our, me. It was more me and Anthony. Our chemistry was fucking done. But you're, you're saying I'm it, saying you're saying why I think there you might don't... be a little resentment there. But it was also more like, oh wow, okay, this has run its course, and it was it was becoming more and more obvious. And then you know, and then he just so happened to get fired. But that but it, that show was coming to an end no matter but what. It wasn't to me. It wasn't obvious. Like it wasn't obvious. Us, us being funny together because we perform a certain way as performers, right. as, as like Voss, right. who's a reactionary performer. Right. That's what he does. He's a fucking reactionary guy. Anthony's a reactionary performer. He, you know what I mean? He's a fucking guy who is a spit... He's, he's funnier and I'm funnier in situations where there's a bunch of people in the room. Right. Um, he's not as funny saying, okay, I'm going to begin and end the show myself. I am not as funny like that. And I know that, dude. I know I'm not as funny going, hi, everybody, it's Jim Norton, and here's my take. I'm a fucking guy who, when the teacher turns around, I fucking throw something. That's what makes me funny. That's what makes him funny. It's a different type of humor. But you would, you, I'm telling you, you would see us being funny like that. But there, it's not a resentment thing. Maybe slightly, but it's okay, more well, that the slightly. show was fucking changing. But how is it changing if we were getting laughs and being funny? Like, well, me, you see that as a reaction it, against you, but it wasn't. No, but it was obvious then, at that point, you you two probably should have moved on and continued doing a radio show together. But we all didn't know how to end that fucking thing. Because we all didn't know how to end that fucking thing. I was not a part of that show the last couple you of see, years. You and, see, and in that, what you just said. But that's the truth. But that's how I see it. I've been exactly. doing this for, since it's I was 18. You, it's how you see it. You allowed criticism and fucking hatred from these people right to influence the way you saw yourself on the air no None, you do you did because for you to resent that and not just be no, a part that, of it and enjoy it i, I enjoyed some days but it, it was a different show that I, the the show honestly and i joked about it to to people but the show absolutely passed me by in the end there i you know i was not a part of that show anymore in a way i i knew i wanted to be I know how to do this fucking radio thing. That version was done, and I was watching in front of my eyes. Honestly, you two probably, if we made it to the end of the contract and didn't get fired, what probably should have happened, you two should have moved on and, and done a show you know, here, and then I, I probably should have just started a new show you know, in another day part. Because I wasn't going to get it back, and I wasn't going to force myself and go, hey, guys, I'm still here. How do I work myself back in, into this? The thing changed in a way which was okay. It was still popular, and it was still getting laughs. Trust me. 
But I, but I was done as far as that version of the show goes. It was, it was obvious to so many people. But you, you and see, this but new version of the show, I, I enjoy doing, and it, and and this version is working. But you say it was obvious to so many people. It Dude, was like, it, was it that was it like the NEW days where it was more of a a, a triangle of uh, of a show? Of course, it was obvious because so much stuff had happened. To, because the thing, neither one of you guys, you guys had so much personal stuff that had happened, and it, it built up on both sides, and that affected it. That affected sure. It. But you would look at me and him joking because we had, we didn't have that necessarily that that the history that you guys had, right? And you would look at it, and I know it would, because I would watch you sometimes, and you it was almost like you felt like you weren't a part of it, and you didn't understand. It's like how is he not I realizing? Completely understood. No, That's no, what I'm trying to say. But I felt trapped. Like I, it's obvious I need to move on and do something you, new and different because this this show and these guys are doing well. The show is successful. They're getting huge laughs. But I absolutely felt trapped. I'm like this is not my sh- this is not my show. Anymore. Anymore. Because this you, is not this is not what I developed. By the way, and I should get at least that fucking credit. I developed this whole fucking thing back in nineteen ninety four. I've 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 done nothing but give you credit for that. Like uh, I've, yeah, I've never not it, credited it, you. It's for hard. Uh, uh, yeah, it's hard for you to give me credit for things. It's it, hard because the fans. What are you talking about? It, in general, it really is you, hard for you to give you credit for things. What do you mean? It, it's hard, and then and and then to beg for it, you you sound like a fucking. Dude, I don't even know what you're you talking. You sound like a fucking oh, lunatic. I don't know what you're talking about. You sound like a, a lunatic. The the day I spilled my guts about the shit Ant did, and and you know, and and poured my soul out, and actually cried, which was beyond embarrassing. Which Ant thinks was fake, by the way, which is another no, ridiculous thing fake. he said. Of course it wasn't, and he fucking so knows what? that too. I've cried on the air. Who but, cares? But. You could you could barely muster up any support for me that day or stick up for me because go, I was go listen to the tape because you're, you're barely t- in it. I'll tell you why you're barely in it because that was because you want to stay out of the you and him and that that well, was I'll fair tell you, enough. Fair enough. I can but, only give you my opinion because I was sitting here watching you and him air it out. I felt like I said a couple of things, but I'm like I'm not going to fight for Anthony here because. He's not here to do it, and it's not my place to do it. It's you and him on this one. The, what you didn't need me to support you, dude. This it he was, didn't have it, me there to support it him. It was it was disappointing considering that you know we can we uh, we do a radio show together. I'm not. I wasn't looking for a uh, you know fuck him type of speech, but it was like you were you were uh, you were very quiet actually. Yes, I was purposefully quiet, 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 extremely quiet, listening to you and he. Air your differences. You know why? Because I wasn't, I wasn't asking for a motherfucking, but I was like, wow, could he say something here? He knows a lot of the shit that went on. Maybe he could back up some of this I stuff. I do know. Yes, Ope. I do know a lot of the shit that went on. I know not all of it, but I know a good amount of it. Now I'm wrong because I was quiet. Like, what did you want me to do in that moment? That was between you and Ant. Like, I can't st- sit there. I wasn't on his show going, dude, I'm sorry you got fired and I feel bad about it, and then come in here. I wasn't on his show the day he said that stuff. I happened to be here in the room with you. Like, what did you want me to say? But anything would have been nice, Jimmy, I, to be I, honest with you, because we do do a radio show together, I, oh, we, and me and you have a history as well, so you sit there and go, wow, the guy really isn't going to say anything. The, like yeah. I said, there's a difference between motherfucking a guy and at least uh, sticking up for some of the points I made. The, the, some of them. You and him airing your differences was what people wanted to hear. Not codependent Jimmy jumping in trying to make everyone feel better. It was you and Aunt airing your differences, dude. The fact that I didn't say enough... Would have been unfair for me to chime in, dude. I know, I know. It would have sounded like we were ganging up on Anthony. I wasn't going to do that because it wasn't my place I, to do I, it. But I'm saying I wasn't looking for a ganging up. Just, I know, just to support something that I was saying that day. Go listen to the tape. You barely said a word, barely. Yeah, and it was, a- and it was surprising to me to be honest with you. And I and I said it earlier. I know you've been in the middle since day one, so it it is a. And I've said it to you off air as well that you've. It's a strange position for you to be in because you're kind of in the middle. You know, but I was like, fuck, the guy can't say anything here. This is I'm here the- every day. Like, do you understand? Like, wh- what is it that you need from people, bro? Like, I, I, I'm, know, here every, oh, I'm here every day. I'm here every day. I don't need anything from you, Jimmy, to be honest with you. Not anymore. You know, we we had a good relationship and stuff, and I don't hate you, and I don't think we have a shitty relationship. So but, it's, it, it's, but our relationship changed, and that day, I'm spilling my guts out, and the guy that I'm continuing with, uh, he's saying nothing. Because the he guy said nothing. Because the relationship you're talking about. But I wasn't is, even motherfucking him. I was just giving more facts about some of the, the, the shit he was saying. Do you know how many times?
times I've had to go on the road and do the apology tour for you or for Ant. Like, all I've done is defend you guys. My whole fuck. And again, th- this show changed my life. I've done nothing but give credit to the radio show. Uh, that is 100% right. I've done, hold, hold on, that's 100% right. I've done nothing. That's not the point I'm making. But you said, I don't give, you said I don't like giving you credit, which is a lie. It's not true, bro. It's uh, not true. Uh, it, it, it's few and far between, which is fine, because I'm, I'm not begging for that thing, but it, it, it does eat away at you a little bit. I'm talking about the day when I was spilling my guts out, and you sat there and barely said a fucking word, and, and knowing so, everyone was like just trying to destroy me because, so you, of, because of the shitty you, stuff he was saying on his show. So that, you deep down... Before, for. have resented that this whole time and in my mind in that moment I'm do- you see what I'm saying yeah. I'm, in my and mind I'm doing the right thing yeah. by shutting my fucking mouth and allowing I, that to happen yeah resent is right and you resent some of the things I did that's just how it but is we're, I know we're talking about, but we're talking about this particular thing but sure dude. you literally have resented that this whole time I, I, and I have I, I I was consciously keeping my mouth shut. I moved on from it, but it, we brought it back up today. I was able to work it out of my head. I'm like, fuck, I guess, because you know he's obviously in the middle and it's a shitty situation to be in. But yeah, I was frustrated. I'm like, God, why couldn't he, you know, come to my defense a little bit here? I didn't think you needed to be defended. You were talking about stuff that Anthony had said. He had talked about you. No, you, you when you did speak up, you were saying stuff like, well, you need to take more responsibility. This yes, and, I, and I'm sitting there like, holy fuck, what about Ant's response? Responsibility in this. Why don't we ever talk about his responsibility in this? I have ever. talked about his responsibility in this. I have talked with about his, with him, and I've said okay. on the air. Oh. I said he did not phrase those tweets right. I've okay. absolutely said that. Okay. I have absolutely said that. But he has a major resentment for me because he got fired. It's ridiculous. I had nothing to do with his firing. I know. And, and if I've we actually had got any out. type of chemistry left or any type of relationship left, I would have went to bat for him big time. And we did go to bat for him, you know, but it, it, it was it was a whatever effort. I, but I, I would have been all in with him and I would have fucking left this place, period. But I had nowhere to fucking go after Ant got fired. I know I know we were done. I know our chemistry was done. I know that version of the show was, was done. So my only option was to stay the fuck here because I do like doing Doing this in the end, period. Yeah, I know. Period. I, I understand. Yeah, that. but for some reason these idiots still don't understand. But again, that. Or I'm they not wa- these or, idiots, dude. Or they, or they don't want to, uh, you know, acknowledge any of this. Why, wh- to them, like he's the underdog. Like he's the one who got fired. So it's easy to hate on you. That is exactly well, well, what. I, it, I, but that, but that's, he knows what is the truth. But you're lumping me in with them. No, I'm lumping in on the day when I a lot of this stuff was coming out, and and you you barely. You backed up any of my points or said anything. It's hard because you guys are like a married couple and Jimmy's like your kid, you know? So it's hard to bring your kid and say, hey, mommy and daddy's having a fight. What do you think? If it's you, hard to put him in the middle. I've you never guys, put him in the middle. I didn't say he never put me in the middle. Say it right now because I need to hear that. You know I never put you in the middle. I don't need to. I've, I've said that from the beginning. You've never. I never felt like I was. I said before. I never felt like I was in the middle. I'm a grown man. I love you and I love Anthony. I don't feel like I need to to go, go hey, Ann, I'm going on Ope show or, or whatever. Or, hey, Ope, I'm going to do. I don't grovel like that. For I, You guys know my feelings and my relationship. I'm here every day. Right. And the reason you still don't seem to know, when, when you're the outed guy, I mean, by, you know, I, when you're the guy who doesn't have the gig, it's a different dynamic. Yeah, it's and, a sh- I w- and I absolutely would have said whose responsibility I thought was what. If we were all in a room together, and right. fucking talking on the radio, I would gladly say that, but I have not spoken to you guys in a room together in a year and a half. Right, and it's not happening. I'm that, not that, saying it's that happening. Things, th- that's things done. And he and he did say right away that if I got fired, he would continue. Period. Yes, and, because and, that's where we were at with our relationship. I understand that. It's just like you guys would have continued if I got fired from K Rock. I know you stuck up for me, and I've said that. But I, you know, I, I, they were gonna fire me at K Rock, and the show would have continued. And I'm saying this more to the fans, who are saying like, Jimmy, you should have left. Yeah, I sat down with Chiasano about that. You know, I said how ridiculous that was. They wanted me out. And he wasn't officially. He wasn't officially uh, saying he wanted to get rid of you. By the way, he was fishing around a little bit. Yeah, I know he was. Just like I know that. And I and yeah, I went to bat like I did a million fucking times for a lot of fucking people around here. Just I got my fucking faults, but I also got the shit I've fucking done for people. Yeah, I know it's but, ridiculous. But you don't you don't hear when people <clears throat> stick up for you. Like you grab this resentful point, and you don't hear like when I'm on. Unfo- 
when that whole fucking first cake stomp thing happened and my entire West Coast fucking trip is, def and again, I know you would have defended me. My entire West Coast promotion trip is defending that. This is not this most recent bullshit one with these fucking assholes. Like, first of all, for anyone. Assholes, it's the fucking fans. I, I the know. Quote, the quote, the you know, supposed part of it fans. Is, no, it's, it's, trust me. It part is. of it is the fans, and part no, of it are the fans from other shows that hated your guts oh, and no, hated the show. Oh, no, there's there's some of that, but that that is being pushed forward by some old school ONA fans that maybe they never liked me. I don't know. I'd have to sit maybe. down. I have no idea, but it's absolutely those and, guys. And by the and way, you know that too. And I'll tell you something. I know I don't know that as well as you think oh, I God, do. Oh, God, you do know that it's, uh, it, they, I know they, that they it's, were pushed the agenda. They said they were going to try to October, I know it's part uh, of that. October me and all that crap. But it's a lot of, I think it's a lot of other people as well. Oh, yeah, they jumped on board. Fans of but show. And they I'll jumped you, on, but they weren't the ones that started the fucking And thing. you know one reason it's hard to defend you sometimes? Because you don't bring this stuff up on the air. Oh, like, if you had, hold on, you didn't mention Gavin. You didn't mention Because anyone. I don't want to give him the fucking time of the day. I, I hate that we me. brought it up today. But, but it's you a weird... brought it up, and then you said, I don't defend you. You don't bring this stuff up well, ever. Well, you know the guy was taking all sorts of shots at me, and I was like, why is this guy doing this? So, I, 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 I never met the fucking guy. But what would and you... if he was a fan of the show or listened to it, maybe he was listening near the end when, yeah, everything was not right anymore as far as chemistry goes. No, but with the fan stuff, raw stuff, like you never mentioned this stuff on the air. Like, you literally, it will happen, you won't bring it up, and then you're sitting here telling me I haven't said enough to defend you, and it's just... I'm talking about the, the famous day where and I'm talking I, about, I spilled my fucking guts out. You'd think someone would be like, wow. First of know, all... I need to be... I'm, what? I'm what? I've spilled mad? my... That's, that's I'm, my I'm, thing. I'm getting mad at the fact that I've spilled my guts a million times on well, this show. Well, that was a day I think you really should have, to be honest with you. It was pretty heavy shit. And I've said what I had to say about it. I mean, and I just, I've talked about it. I've been very open about it. In every interview I have done, they have asked me about this. Every interview I've done, I've had to go through the entire explanation about Opie and Anthony and the relationship. Do you know how many times I've, I know you don't listen to my interviews or podcasts. I don't expect you to. Yeah. But, do, but you don't hear the fucking things I've had to say or felt, you know, to defend the show or to defend our position or to defend myself. It doesn't come across my radar a lot, I'll be well, honest with you. Maybe well, maybe we should put not. together a no, montage of what he no, said, the nice uh, things that, that he said that about you. And that sounds It'll ridiculous make you cry, too. probably. No, but the, the nice things uh, that he I, said about you. I rarely cry, but I you cry know? once on the air. But the fact that you're looking at that resentment instead of looking at it like dude this was a me and meaning you you and aunt thing and like like what did you want me to do in that moment like do you understand probably, the me probably the answer would be anything like you purposely made sure you were very quiet and silent because maybe, you were maybe, talking and, openly and honestly and it was I felt great like, to hear and I felt like maybe you're thinking well if I say the wrong thing I don't know how this is gonna be spun for me I, no. I, I'm being serious I, I, I dude, really was thinking he, like why wouldn't he say anything I'll tell you why because you were having an extraordinarily Open but and, was, uh, 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 an honest exchange. It was a f but uh, fifteen years of knowing you. I'm like, the, can the guy say anything today? This you, would be nice. You were having an open, vulnerable moment about something that you had not talked about publicly. Right. There was nothing for me to say. Like there was that. a couple of the things that I watched over the years. I told you the girlfriend thing, like with, with back, to, like you didn't seem to see how the resentment that could build up because of that. But I wasn't uh, going to jump in and fucking say all this stuff. That was between you and him. How about the girlfriend thing? Then every girlfriend you had after that hated me and my wife, and I never, he, I, I never, I, I never had a relationship with any of his fucking girlfriends after I that. I know, dude. I don't and know. The, any of and that. the first one, Melinda, I did try to make good with that, and we we tried to you know work some shit out and. Obviously, we didn't. But then, that moving forward, every girlfriend he got openly would hate me on on Twitter in any way they could. And I'm like, I, I haven't even really hung out with you or, or met you. This I, is ridiculous. And then we're doing the radio show together every day. This is complete madness. I know, but I'm not I talking about stepped, this stuff. I should have stepped the fucking w uh, uh, away a long time ago. I'm not talking about that stuff. That's not. The I stuff would meet I'm these about. girls and go, "Why the fuck do you hate me? I haven't even met you yet." But that's not what I'm talking about. And if he had a problem with that, he should have, like, you know, discussed it with me. I'm, you're, you're saying you wanted me to speak up that day, and I'm saying is there was the an open. That was the only thing you said. You were you were defending you were defending him because he wasn't here, and I was raising a point as somebody who has been in this studio for 15 years and seen a lot of what goes on. Right. And he wasn't here. And again, being the guy who got fired. I'm not, but I wasn't asking for a motherfucking. I know anything, that. Anything. You didn't need anything. me to. Like I said, yeah, I kind of needed you. No, you day. didn't, dude. I you didn't. did fine. No, you were I needed open you. and honest, and you didn't need me to. Jimmy, if you need to know, because we've been friends for a long time, I kind of needed you that day. 
and I was bummed that you weren't there for me. Oh my and, god! And I did get I did get over it. But I, why wouldn't we're you talking talk, honestly? No, no, I know that, but I'm shocked that you feel that way. Like, why wouldn't you? Have Absolutely, I needed you that day. I period. was here. Like, period. You needed me. Like, what did you need me to do? You were having an open and honest talk. Are you making fun of the fact I said period there? No, I just, oh, you're, just, you're just defining. Wonder, just wonder. Just asking. What? It's a joke. <laughs> oh, because you're saying I open, I needed you. Uh, no, I, that's not a joke. I did need you that day. But like, what did you want me to do? I was and, right and here. Honestly, uh, eh, you weren't here. You were here physically. You really, okay. No, no, I'm not really, Jimmy. I'm, yeah, no, I'm not really. letting that point go. You I, don't I have a point 15, there. I have a major point. Why, because you broke down and cried? So what, dude? I've done that on the air before. Oh, no, Big that's, deal. That you were sad. It was great. No, that part's okay, but I, I'm sitting there talking. I'm like hoping that you you would uh, add to the conversation or say something, and you, re you barely said anything that day. And yeah, I needed you that day. Because it was and between that's embarrassing you. to say, and you want an open discussion. I do. I, I, I needed you that day. So what As a friend, like, wow, we're going through, we're going through shit together mm -hmm. because we can continue the show and everyone didn't know the shit that was happening behind the scenes so right away they're like wow they're fucking scumbags for moving on without them and and then uh sorry i'm losing my fucking thought and, and uh saying you needed me that day and, and, and yeah because we were going through a lot uh, you know uh continuing out without him and you also knew all the shit that was happening and with me and Anna. And i'm like can't you say anything and when the mics went off and I told you that. Don't tell me I didn't say anything to you. I told you that was fucking great that you did that. I remember oh, talking to you about When the about mics that. are off. Wonderful. How about when the mics are on? It's not a bad thing to say when the mics are on. Because you didn't need it. It was an open I thing between you and Anthony. You. It's embarrassing to say, but I needed you that day, Jimmy. I didn't look at that as me not being there for you. You and your old radio partner having this discussion, which I felt you guys should have had on the air. And I said that from the beginning. And, and when I said that to you, like, dude, the groundswell of support. Why did we need to have it on the air? Why? Um, Why? We barely talked off the air, and we, we should have went. I'll be, I'll be honest. We should have went. That was a wonderful 20 years in general. Yeah, we didn't get along, but we accomplished a lot of shit. So what? Now we're going to go into this world of fucking hating each other? I, f I really did find that ridiculous. I'm but like, why would we do that? I'll tell you why. And I know we aired a lot of shit over the years, but that that one was a, that one was a heavy fucking thing that you know I, we should have done off air. Maybe and I did offer to hold on. Because there was a time I was I was going to try to get on his show early because I understand what you said earlier about the support and stuff. And he knows this is true. I reached out to him. And I said, I don't feel comfortable being on your show because we're in a weird fucking place. So I don't know the exact words I said. And I would I would text him and say, you know, before we do that, maybe we could get a beer or dinner. He laughed that off like it was the most ridiculous thing I've ever said. And I'm like, it's not happening. I'm not going on there cold after all these years and have some shitty hour and a half, two hour conversation where we motherfuck each other. You, you I thought thought after all these years a beer or dinner to really t talk about shit and then maybe I could go on the on the show and then maybe we could talk about some of that stuff that did happen that was the way I thought it should be done I, and he laughed it off like that was the dumbest stupidest idea because you you and then you say something like to have an honest and open talk and then you're telling me this whole time I'm literally had zero idea that you expected me to oh. do something hold on I'm telling you that day Wow. You didn't think I did what I should have done. I don't know what you should have done. I just wanted something. I don't know what exactly what I was looking for. Well, then maybe you should realize support. that it's irrational for you to think it's that I didn't do the right irrational. thing. Irrational. We do the show together. We've known each other for fifteen years. You know the shit. You know way more of the shit that we've never talked about that has happened. And I'm spilling my guts out, and you're and and you're, yeah. you're not really saying a word because I was watching you both, and it bummed me out. And I did, but I did move on from it. like ah, I, I know it, it, it's got to be because he's in the middle, and it's a bad spot for him to be in. You guys, were so both I did get over it. But it was I was like I did really want. Want something from you that day? There was nothing for me to do, and I'm not saying there's nothing Look, emotionally. We're going around and around. Fair enough. There was uh, nothing no, for me to do. Fair enough. I'm not going to continue arguing. Fair. I'm enough. not even argue with you. I'm not even but angry. We're not going to. We're not going to get to a place on this one. I'm telling you, I felt like I really needed you that day, okay. and you're saying I, there was nothing for you to do. Then that's how it's got to be. Because I was. I'm telling you why. When you're watching two guys air something that you knew was going to come because I knew Ant had been making little remarks and I knew you had been saying things on Twitter. Again, not fuck you, not drop dead, but I knew it was going to happen. So when it, when it finally happened, it's like, what do I do? I don't, what's the, it's not like I was in the room with him when he was doing it going, support, 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 and then you're talking and I'm saying nothing. I wasn't in the room when he said what he said. Yeah, I get that part of it. So the fact that I was in the room while you were responding, 
but you're you're confused because I'm not I'm not talking about you're thinking that no I, I don't think you need to speak up so yeah I, anything would have been nice like holy fuck we've been through some shit. I literally didn't Look, feel we're not gonna agree. I, I know no, I'm, just, I'm telling you I didn't feel like you needed it what? You were having an open. Talk. I'm almost embarrassed to tell you that. Yeah, I did what? Yeah, I did I and it was a it was a big disappointment, but I get but we moved we moved past that We did no, obviously not. I didn't know about we it. Did. It's now. coming up now, but it, we did in a way Absolutely. I was I was fine and it was out of my out of my head for the most part But it came up today because all this yeah You know that show was over. I, the, I'm not saying it shouldn't have been over. But did I feel left? I, I don't know if the saying I felt left out. I don't know if that's the proper. As a radio guy that's been doing this since I was 18, I'm like, I always knew when, oh, okay, this is done. And I knew it was done. But not, but not, it was done as far as my participation in it, I guess. I'm not saying the show wasn't still working. It was working in a very different way, which was fine. And the move probably would have been for you guys to move on and continue doing a show together. Well, I feel like we really got somewhere here, you know, but to feel left out. It's ridiculous. I I realize, okay, I'm this is not gonna work anymore But you shouldn't have felt left out. That's the point. The point but I'm, I'm not, making is you're you saying I'm saying I saw it differently I saw something not a left out a oh, okay. This show is done. It's okay Because I, I I'm not gonna sit here and then be desperate like hey guys if you left out I'm gonna try to figure out how to get back in. No, I was thinking more like okay this it's time to move on from this version of the show I'm amazed we made 20 years. No one makes fucking 20 years Yeah So I, you know and it should have been it, it, Everyone should just fucking moved on all nicely But for some reason the, that that can't happen which is ridiculous after 20 years but but when you say things like I'm not getting any hatred for being here, like you have no idea. I guess I I, I think everybody I, just needs to close their Twitter account. No, no, but I mean I'm not even crying about it. Like it, no, it stinks. I, I don't I, like it. Some of it goes. I guess some of it makes my radar, but not on any level that I think is un. <sighs> it's amazing. No, how, no, I mean it's amazing no, how much. Because here's the thing: when, when you do a radio show, you do know that, that people aren't going to like you. Period. But it so. You get you get that like anyone else does, but you know mine was just over the top ridiculous shit and being blamed for everything. And then this fucking guy that I, I sat next to for twenty years allowed it to happen because he's he's fucking bitter. But th th that's has nothing to do with me. I didn't get him fired. He allowed it to happen. That's fucking creepy. I think that's we could bullshit. just all agree that your fans suck. Uh, no. no, I mean they 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 are in a weird position like they the, the, I'm not talking about the hardcore ones who are scummy like the, the ones who are fucking Pushing bullshit or, or or having multiple Twitter account. I'm not talking about those people the majority of the fans Who even want the show back? It's not gonna come back and I know that and you know that and Ant knows that right, but I'm saying they're not shitty a lot of them don't honestly don't know they've been put in this position They're like well this show was what it was and how could this happen? Yeah. And how could they like I understand that they don't we, we, we felt the same thing you know, we felt the same thing. That show meant uh, pretty much more than anything in the entire world to me until I, you know, got married and had kids. It was everything to me. It was my whole fucking world. Yeah. It's, it's downright a, a bummer that it ended, but the, it was done. And we made 20 years. We weren't fucking taught. I've said this stuff over and over again. If there was an inkling of chemistry left or a relationship, we would have continued. I would have walked in a second. I would have said, bye. Cause it, I, I love doing this. We get paid well to do this, but I just love doing this. It wasn't yeah. about the money. It wasn't about that at all. I, I have enough money. It was like, wow, I can't leave here because we are done. That's that, that's the headline. We were done. Yeah, but or I, I would have left it in a second. I'm not questioning why you didn't leave. This is the shit that I have to deal yeah, with. I know that, that but I'm not. Which is amazing to me because it's like, don't you understood? You you heard the same show that I was hearing. That the show, the chemistry was done. But th this this stuff that's been happening in like the last say two months with all this bullshit with these videos and stuff like that, you don't bring it up on the air. So like, I don't know how you would like me to. Ad how would you like me to address it? I've been oh. wanting to say for a long time. What what the, what the, what the fans who have done with that video with the case? I'm trying to get you fired. It's disgusting. Oh. It's just it's disgusting in a weird level to me. Like hatred of somebody is one thing. 
but that has that that drove me crazy what fucking nonsense that was and how that wasn't even dirty it was just like how the fuck could you guys try to get somebody fired for like it's it, that's been annoying me so much well but it hasn't been brought up by you on the air so i didn't feel like it was my place to bring up something where they were targeting you for right so you would have gotten a tremendous amount of support for me had you just mentioned it all on right. the air but you didn't so well, i didn't feel it was my place well, all right. I mean, I'm guilty of this too. Then why don't you call me on that and say, "Hey, man, you know, I have talked to you about that." Well, uh, yeah, we've talked about that. Uh, no, I don't think you said to bring it up on the air. Let's try to like work through this. Oh, I didn't. It, it, no, I, it just didn't I, look, occur to me to say that. Like, look, you know, for the record, than, I know you support me on that. Yeah, but maybe you should. Maybe I don't know. Maybe you should say, "Hey, maybe it would be a good one to bring up on the air." Because some of the stuff is not good to bring up on the. I air. I understand that, but do you? Okay, put yourself in my shoes. You, right, right now, what you're saying, like, okay, I didn't feel like you were supportive enough. I would have been a thousand percent supportive on this because it was annoying the shit out of me. I told you it annoyed me. It was mm. disgusting. And then, I, so, hold on, I support you. I support you. I talked to you about it. But then you say to me, why didn't you tell me to bring it up on the air? It's like, come on, what do you want me to do? Like, I, how much? I said I was guilty of that too. There's things that bother me about you, and I probably should reach out and talk to you about. Like, that's all I'm saying. That like, didn't bother me. I just didn't. I, it didn't occur to me like that. It's because it was I, involving you. Like. That video's once again from two thousand fucking seven. It yeah. wasn't just some random homeless guy that we saw and I jumped on his fucking cake. That would be a horrific thing to do to anybody, and the people know that. I, I but yeah. They, but they, you know, they got a vendetta against me or whatever the fuck it is, and so they're gonna like, you know, spin the truth in the whole fucking thing and tr try to make it something that it, it absolutely wasn't. They also are spin. They're also throwing it out there like it happened fucking yesterday, which is ridiculous. We knew the fucking guy. Yeah, we knew him very well. We gave him thousands of dollars in our time of knowing the guy and I'm not saying money makes something go away but we also or I did I felt like we, I had a relationship with the guy enough where you know I could do this for a stupid radio show and everyone would be okay in the end yeah, and, and if I'm wrong for thinking that that's fine and I'm and I'm also you know sorry if it did offend people but it wasn't it wasn't just some random fucking guy I mean the company actually sat me down I don't even know if I ever told you this Eric Logan and he wanted to know all the facts about that because it was getting ugly at the time back in 2000 2007. And when he found out it was Andrew, a guy we talked to a lot on the air, he's like, oh, okay. And he was, then the company was totally cool with it. They got it. They totally got it. It was a shocking thing to do for a shock, uh, you know, a, a shock jock show. Yeah. But in the moment, it wasn't that shocking, to be honest with you. It was like, oh, I was, no. I was trying to make you guys fucking cringe. Yeah, go, Holy it, fuck, it is he really doing yes. this? And we That's left. All. And we left. And not at his expense, because I'm like, this guy, we, we were bringing homeless guys in all the time, and we were making them feel special and part of the fucking radio show. We didn't just look at them like fucking bums. Do you know, by the way, do you know how much hatred I got that from that recently? Like, you're not the only one that caught You never told me. I, I have no I, idea. I'm not mad at you for it. I, mean, I have it, no it, idea. I didn't even think of it. But I just, like, literally on the air, I'm, I'm having some fucking stripper fucking tell me what a piece of garbage I am. Tell me because I'm fucking, you know, she's texting me. This fucking girl had been sending me nude videos. Right. Tell me what a piece of shit I am on the fucking. But you, like all the times, the interviews I've had to do, and, and again, for press or whatever, on the road, on the radio, do you have any idea how many times this has come up? People ask every single time. And I know, I don't believe it. I, you can't this is go the first and listen. I'm hearing this. You can't go and listen to my press. I don't expect you to. But the, every time it's come up, I've gone through it and I've explained what it was, just like I did a couple of years ago when it first started getting bad. Right. No, it's just a bunch of fucking dirtbags trying to get, like, like. But it shows a, a, a deeper issue because if we were having, like, just conversations like we did in the past, that would probably just come up in conversation like, uh, dude, man, I'm, I'm not blaming you. Yeah, I'm just I know. saying. I'm, I'm saying I wouldn't even think we would need to. Like, the, to but me, we don't have that, that conversation anymore where, where it would probably come up like, dude, God, I, man, that cake stomp thing. I, I can't tell you how many times that's been coming up in interviews lately. I'm hearing this for the first fucking time. I might, because honestly, I haven't thought of it to, to, to say, but it's like, it was, it's an obvious thing. Like when Ant got fired, I defended him. When you got this shit, I defended you. Like, it, it's like, how many times have I gone on, whether you guys were a team or whatever, the, the loyalty I've showed to this radio show has been fucking, I, I've never put anything in front of my career above this radio show. Oh, I, you're and then you're telling me, like, I don't I defend you enough that one day, and I'm telling you my reason. Well, that was a big day, Jimmy. And I did the right a, thing, because had I jumped in and was like, oh, they would have been like, why is he coddling Opie? Instead, this is, I'm telling you what would have happened. Instead of saying, like in the Newsweek article, when right. I told you, hey, Polly wants to do this interview, do it. She's fucking great. 
great. Right. She'll paint it fairly. Yeah, I took the high road. I, I, I didn't say half the shit I, I, I wanted to. I was like, it's, this is crazy. Why are we doing this? I was like thinking, why are we doing this? But you're this? not seeing any of, like, you don't look at any of that stuff and go like, wow, man, this guy did go to bat for me on this stuff. You don't see any no, of that you, stuff. No, you absolutely went to bat for me in the Newsweek article. You're 100% right on that as well. Okay, but, uh, and the cake stop thing, I had no idea about that. You're getting uh, shit for that out there. Uh, no, I, I, yeah, I, I, no, I, I just don't. I, 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 we used to the shit you're getting is a lot more, so it was like, I didn't... We, it, used, it was, to, we used to talk a lot. We don't talk on that level anymore. That's why, I and think, I know you're insulted that you don't know some of the stuff I now know, but me and you are just, we're not, uh, we're not that type of friends right now. I think maybe we will be again. I don't know. When you got married, Opie. What? That's what? when the problem started because they're both not married. And then you're like the what? one married guy, and it's like you can't relate anymore. No, I can relate. There is still. You know what I mean? Because you guys had this like bro, you know, and then all of a sudden. I mean, whether it was uh, whether it was when I got married or I had kids, I mean, I'm, of course, but that's what I'm, I'm, you know, I wanted and, and got for my life. So that's fine. And that goes back to the point then. All right, whatever. This what, is your life. But whatever it was that made things change, that's okay. You know, but the show probably should have ended a year, maybe two years before it did. And I'm guilty of that too, because I felt trapped. I didn't know how to, well, me and I weren't talking at all. So I didn't know how to even bring that up. Yeah, I mean, look, I know the shit in that was perfect, going on. In a perfect you world, you guys should have moved on and done a, a separate show, period. And oh, I said period again. That, that'll drive people. Uh, <laughs> don't, it'll make them very happy. Um, and then I, I would have been, I would have been fine. I've been doing this since I was eighteen. I would have reinvented myself and did another show. And I think it would have been. Uh, I don't think it would have been as successful of uh, as Opie and Anthony because that was just a, you know, that was lightning in a bottle, as they say. But I would have been, uh, I would have been just fine. Period. I would have been just fine. But no one is saying that you... I didn't feel left out. I, I want to make that point. I didn't. But you Maybe slightly as a human being, but it was more like, oh, okay, the writing's on the wall here. But it was almost And it was like, kind of sad, like, okay, this is coming to an end. But a few minutes ago, you did say, like, yeah, I was watching you guys, and I didn't feel like there was a place for me in it. But in the reality was, it was because you were doubting what your place was. Of course there was a place. I, I like, I, to me, it was amazing. You I, didn't see it. I would... I, I, the honest answer is maybe I was doubting my place in that situation, but not doubting my, my place as far as a broadcaster goes. If, no, I just mean in the comedic back and forth. I don't mean as a broadcaster. I, I just mean that the guy's bullshitting. No, that's, that's fine. I was never supposed to be, uh, you know, the funniest man in the room. I was never, I, I get my, my laughs, and that's all. I was never supposed to be, you know, the guy getting over the top laughs. I've, I've always enjoyed, you know, the comedy and the laughs in this room, of course. But then why would you feel like weird when, when me and him were going back and forth? Th that goes back to the, the show is now over. I'm not going to just, I'm not just going to sit here and it, it just meant that this show is changing in front of my eyes and I'm not, I'm not a part of this like it used to be in the old days and that's okay. Yeah, so I guess it's a strange feeling. Isn't that a feeling of being left out? Huh? Isn't that kind of a feeling of being left out? To a, to a point, but more like realizing that this version of the show is over. But if it's... It's an important point. Yeah, I, as a human being, I guess you do feel left out, but I, I, I didn't feel a desperation or any of that. I'm like, it was more like, man, this is over. How does this end? That's what I was thinking day in and day as out. We're getting, as we're joking around? No, the show in general. I, I, Jimmy, Jesus Christ. I'm asking you. But I said that I, I, I'm fully aware that the show was still working, and you were getting big laughs, and the, and and we still had a huge audience, and the people were in, actually the audience was dwindling, but it, it was going away. But uh, yeah, that part of the show was working. But 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 I knew that the show, as far as as far as my uh, contribution, was ending. And every day I was like, how does this end? This is not, this is not the show I want to be doing anymore. And it's not working anymore as, as how it was set up initially, which was me and Anthony with um, amazing chemistry. And then we brought you in amazing chemistry and it was boop, 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 boop. And then it, it uh, eroded and went away. Of course it was still working. That's what my whole point as a radio guy going, okay, how does this work? Those guys should do a show. I'll go and do a show. Hopefully they'll, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll go for that idea. I never told the guys down the hall that. But that was what I was starting to think. Because to me it was obvious it was over. Not, not you guys. And not, the, not as a listener. The, they're, they're still getting their entertainment and their laughs. 
But I'm like, this is over. And it was kind of sad because, you know, I, I remember back to 1994 when the whole fucking thing, you know, came together. So that's that's really what my thoughts were. Okay. I've had to shit for 40 minutes. I'm not saying we should take a break. I'm just telling you, I've, I've literally had to take a shit for 40 minutes. You, you don't shit in public. That's an excuse. I, today I'm going to. Mm, that's an excuse. I'm going to take a nice... You're avoiding. I've had to pee for 30 minutes. Have you really? Yeah. Really? My bladder is pressing up against my uterine lining. <clears throat> Well, <laughs> I feel like we got a lot accomplished today. Eric Logan wrote me. Hi, Kenny. Hi, Kenny. How are you? Have you guys seen the new Psy video? I hear yes, it's we did. wonderful. Yeah, let's play it to break. Yeah. Um, Eric Logan, Elo has a... Uh, he has a solution. I have the answer. I'll co-host the show. <laughs> You both are doing great. I don't know who he's talking to because both is two, not three. So I don't know who he's, he's referring to there. He means me and you. I'm joking. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh I don't know. Christ. But then, I hold on, my you, laughs in. But you, <laughs> yeah, but you, you're getting mad That's at me. That's right. For, I'm not getting mad at oh, you. Okay. Relax. Yeah, all right, because I didn't know you were joking. Even the joking part, relax. I'm, I'm joking. Right. Okay. I'm well, not mad that you didn't get it. <laughs> all right. But, you know, you have, I guess we both, whatever, dude. I mean, I, I don't know what the answer is. You know, I mean, I, I don't know. What do you mean? Meaning, I, I, I know the company is probably going to can me after this discussion. Oh, Christ. I'm just saying, dude. I've, I've been That's paranoid ridiculous. about getting fired my whole life. After, and I know that the last guy was gunning for me, and I'm not, I'm not crazy about that. Like, I saw it coming to K-Rock. Bladder? No, 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 no. I, I, Tim? I, yeah, he wanted me gone. He was in a weird place. Maybe, and I actually liked him. I loved him a lot, but he was in a weird place when he, he came on board. And uh, he never had that discussion with me. No, I'm not saying he did. I just felt it. You know, it's like you feel things, certain questions people ask. So maybe I'm always just paranoid about it, but... Look, I mean, you know. How far out is your turtle head? It's not going to be a turtle. It's going to be a soupy abomination. No one. I I like doing this version of the show. I really do. You know. I I mean, just want to let you know that. I, and, and I, I like. I'm I'm really actually very surprised by our success. I thought we'd stumble along. Yeah. I really did. You guys should be proud of it. Because I told Jimmy, I mean... And you guys love each other. It's just sometimes, you know, you have to get your feelings out. I, I told Jimmy, like, I never pictured me and him continuing. I always thought Jimmy would maybe move on to something bigger, and me and Aunt, because me and Aunt did have the chemistry, or Jimmy and Aunt would have the chemistry, and out of the th out of all the combinations, we probably had the less, you know, the less chemistry. And I told you that once, and it, I think it might have hurt your feelings a little bit. I didn't mean it to. And, and and I and no, it didn't. I, I, you were right. And but for some some strange, I, it is strange in a way because I, I, you know, I'm a pretty uh, confident and positive guy. I I didn't. I really thought we'd just stumble along, and I'm like, holy fuck, we made this work. I kind of surprised. Yeah, I man. Kinda, no, you guys I made this work for a long time, and it's still no, going. No, we're talking about the new version, the new which version. is about a year and almost a year and a half. I was this show. No offense, I was surprised. I'm like, yeah, wow, so we, was I. We made it fucking work. I, I don't like, here's why I don't like when it's called Opie and Jimmy. Because then it feels like I'm trying to replace Anthony. I, I'm not saying that you want it that way. I'm only saying that's to me, it's a different show. And it's like, I'm, I'm fine calling it Opie, but I don't want it to sound like I step in but, my friend. That's a big thing for me. I get it. If, you know what I mean? And but it, first of all, I never said I wanted Opie and Jimmy I know you didn't. because I'm, I know you didn't. It's just it's just how you name radio shows. But then when it was called Opie with Jimmy, people were attacking me like, oh, you're so full of yourself, you can't call it Opie and Jimmy. I'm like, holy fuck, they don't even know this is not even my idea. Yeah, no, no, no. I wanted to just be Opie and Jimmy because it's just easier to say. I'm, I'm one of the people who we were talking on the phone when they were talking about renaming the channel. And I'm like, why not Opie Radio? I, it was like, that was my suggestion. I, like, it wasn't my suggestion. I know. And I hope people know that one too. I know. And I'm not saying you would you would have called it Opie and Jimmy. You've never had an issue with that. I've always felt like, does it sound like I'm capitalizing on my friend not being here? And it's a big, it, it's like, because people have said to me in interviews, well, dude, now that Anthony's gone, you've stepped in. I've had that happen. And I had to correct them every time, dude. 
It's like, I know you see things that, uh, from your point of view. And like the way they attack you personally, like I don't care if they don't think you're funny, they don't like you, they don't think I'm... F- this, some of that shit is just dirty, man. It's fucking dirty and it's garbage and it's not accurate and it's fucking... We all know it's shit. It's, it's hateable. You know, I mean, I, I feel it is, at least. But, you know, the professional stuff... I've gotten as well, and right. I've gotten a lot more than you think I've gotten. And you know, people who come to the shows are always happy, and they always say positive stuff about their. Yeah, I like the show. It's you know, some of them will go like, "Hey, you guys are doing okay. You got to get Anthony back, but you're doing okay." Like I understand those sentiments. I'm okay with that. I, I but it's d- like the company doesn't realize. It. I'm, 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 I deal with the fans more than either of you guys do. I do because I see them. Well, yeah, you're you're doing your gigs. I'm, I'm just saying, like I have to. You know, and most of them have been okay, but some of them, you know, have not. Oh, I, I, I get... You to know. your face? What do they no, say? No, but it's more like I was at the show and this and that, you know... It, whatever. It, it's, it's okay. I, I get why a lot of them are very fucking pissed off. I, I completely do. And I want to say that. I get why they're fucking pissed and off. And there's no there right way, answer. There was way more to it. That, I mean, these people who think they know anything, they don't know half that fucking shit. But there's also pe- people they just don't, that and they never will. who are not pissed off, you know? And they just don't speak up. And they there's a reason why you guys are still going. Yeah, fair you enough. You know? Like, they, they still love you guys. And... It's also a habit. It's like, you know, when Howard left Terrestrial Radio, the majority of the audience didn't come, and it's not even a knock on him. It's just people just kind of put on what they put on in the morning, and if you and I both left, and it was just Justin and fucking Eric, they would listen to them. I'm exaggerating, of course. (laughs) But uh, you you know what I mean? Wow. But but the the point is, they would, uh, you know, people would... uh, Oh, they'd find something else. Yeah, it's just what people do, man. If they would find no, you guys else. have low self-esteem. They would follow you wherever you go if you had I have whatever enough, going I have on. People following me. We defended Justin, by the way, on on his show. We fucking went to, went to bat for. I'm not saying I deserve a hand job for that, but I'll give you. I think you've gotten a bunch of uh, unfair hatred. Look oh how these guys have brought some great shit to this new show. Period. Oh, you know, the period again. I mean, you've gotten a, some of it's justified, oh, God, but it's a period. What kind of hate do you get, Justin? A lot. <laughs> I literally would a love lot. for or, what? Or, well, because a lot of people think Eric and I have somehow prevented Ant from coming back, or whatever money was Ant's has gone to us, which is far from the truth. Whatever, Anthony's going to be fine now. He's making money, right? He's charging five bucks or something. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. But I honestly Times. have no, but Eric and no I were, clue how well he's doing. Eric and I were friendly with Opie and Anthony well before we came here. And Jimmy, obviously. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You guys got me on Letterman twice, and you got, I think, uh, paved the way for Opie and Anthony to do Letterman. So That's people, right. people yeah, will give, give you guys Justin shit. Yeah, let's give some credit here. But nah, but I did. No, it's, but, like, it's like the amount of these guys were loyal friends before all this nonsense happened. And, uh, you know... People don't like you on the air or whatever. They're allowed to have their opinion of, right. of, of performance, but the, it's, it's unfair. A lot of the bullshit is very unfair. And I hate all the personal stuff. Hate it. Hate it. The fucking stuff they print. I know it's a bullshit. I've known it's nonsense since day one. Well, I mean, the, the one chance the, the guy you sat next to for 20 years had one lousy opportunity and he, he couldn't help himself. He had to fucking do it. He knows damn well that whole sex tape yeah, he knows garbage. Of course, we all know it's bullshit. Was fucking pushed by Ben, who, who now I have a restraining order against. For some reason, this is how crazy this place is. I got my fucking issues. But I went to bat for that fucking kid more times than I could count. And the last time Elo, Elo basically said, you can't save him anymore. And then for him to turn around and then attack me and start bullshit rumors about my wife is so fucking ridiculous. And the Post quickly realized they made a major fucking mistake. And then we fought it in court because we said that's not good enough. And Ant knows this to be fucking true. And go fucking watch the video. Oh, I'll just, I'll leave that for the internet to continue to speculate on. That is bullshit. Question. That is, fu- that and I, is I, fucking I can bullshit. only ask, are you, and again, I'm asking. Are you sure that that wasn't a sarcastic remark about how nonsense it is? L- almost like saying, "Go listen to it." All right, I, I'm positive. Because I, I mean, he, he knows a hundred percent that's not true. He knows I've, what, I've he never knows heard what, him doubt that that he was. He knows what that did to you know me and my family. He knows that that's that's bad character. 
period. And yeah, I said period again. Bad character. How long does a restraining order last? Uh, I can't really talk about that right now. I said too much. Well, I can answer shit. that uh, from, from the ones I've had to deal with. Um, usually six months. Oh, really? Kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tough room, do a restraining order. <laughs> Tough room, do a restraining order. Humor in. <laughs> no, because I was thinking about getting one against an ex-boyfriend, and I never did, because I thought it'd be just a pain in the ass to deal with all the fucking paperwork. It can be. You know. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've never, I've never been issued one, but uh, you know. It's all... just like it's just like if I'm the one to issue a restraining order on somebody. People might look at my record and be like, "Oh, she's got problems," you know. So I didn't what, want that. What problems do you have on record? Yeah, nothing. Well, what could they have seen? Yeah, no, but if you but if you if you file a restraining <laughs> if I file a restraining so order against an ex boyfriend, you know, it might be like a red flag on me. I don't know. Maybe I should have gotten one. Maybe. What did he do to you? He like wouldn't give me the keys back to my apartment oh. after we broke up. You know, after. Why don't you just change the locks so you don't even have to deal with them? No, because I was getting evicted and I needed to, <laughs> I needed the key for three more weeks or, you know, to get my shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see. Yeah. I don't think we ever got the answer. Are you going to hang out with Aunt at the Patrice benefit? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Tough room. That was... <laughs> <laughs> That was a, that was, that was trying a, to bring it back. I understand. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> but when, when I was I, asking, I, like, I, I, I was like asking that. you genuinely. I, I wasn't. I just had heard this. No, I, it I, wasn't I, something I've been dying to ask you. It just came up. And no, I was like, oh, I, I don't. Okay. I don't I, there's just nothing behind that. I get it. But no, I'm not. It puts me in a bad spot because it's a fucking better a benefit for a really good friend that we all horribly <laughs> miss. So, but <sighs> I can't be in the same room as that guy. Nope. He knows all the shit he did. It's like, really, dude? What the fuck? Had nothing to do with your firing. You know that. You know that. Christ. And you know we were done. So to make believe we weren't done and that me and me and Jimmy were supposed to just leave, that's ridiculous. I had no, I had no place to go. That's what it comes down to. None. Of course you guys aren't going to leave. I had no place to, to go. Well, it's like this is, people do forget that this is a job. And it's like, I love my, I really do. I, I love what I do. I enjoy myself here. I never said I didn't have fun here. I enjoy it. I enjoy performing. I enjoy fucking yapping every day with you. I enjoy the fucking gig. Right. I mean, and this is, and, and I know the fans are split and they're very hurt and they're very angry, a lot of them. But it's almost like, and I know the company's probably like, ah, oh, you guys just don't talk about it, but it's like we do deal with this on a daily basis. This is what the company has to understand. This is not something that we can just go, all right, this is something that... But they've in, never told us to... No, no, I'm not saying they do. It. I'm just saying it, it's in we, our faces they, all the time. I, they just leave us alone. Yeah. We don't really hear from them a lot. Yeah, but uh, people don't understand that this is, they act like this is, like they would have walked away from their jobs. You know what I mean? And, and, and people act like their financial security is it important? It's Fuck like, them. It, well, it's just, it's just, it's fake. Maybe financially we're in different spots because it wasn't about the money. It was about the fact that there was nowhere to go. Like our chemistry was done and that version of the show was absolutely done. And we absolutely did not like each other. It goes both ways, not just me toward him. We didn't talk at all. Probably less than 10 phone calls. I don't even, honestly, I don't even know how many times we actually talked off air but it was extremely, extremely rare. And if we had any chemistry left or any type of uh, relationship left, yeah, I would have left in a second, of course. My, my record shows that over the years. Christ, when we went to Boston, uh, I had a PD walk up to me and basically tell me, why Anthony, you know, and was hinting at firing him. Like, you're fucking ridiculous. And that happened uh, from time to time. There was always something. And we always, we always just stuck together. Always. But that, uh, but at that point, there was nothing to stick together for anymore, which is really sad. Really sad, because there was no guarantee that that we were going to do well after he left either. None. What was the guarantee? We had two months uh, left on our contract to to hopefully give him a little little glimmer that maybe this uh, new version of the show could work. And then they said, "All right, yeah, cool. All right, we'll resign you guys." And we're like, "I was sort of surprised. I'm like, wow, okay." And then we made a go of it, and, and honestly, I'm having a really good time here. 
I feel I, I love doing radio. Are you radio. having a good time, Jamie? Yeah, I really wouldn't do it if I wasn't. I wouldn't exactly. do it. Exactly. The bottom line is you guys are having a good time. Please don't break up because everybody's going to uh, hate me even more. <laughs> I don't think it's possible. <laughs> 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 I never got the Esther hatred either. I, I really They're love gonna Esther. They're going to blame me for like you guys stopping in no, October. They already are on Twitter. I, I, I feel bad for Esther. because It's like Esther is open. She's masturbated on the radio show. She yeah, talks openly and honestly. Like, what do you want from Esther? I how also do, masturbate hate, on so- my podcast. How about <laughs> how about you do that now? I think that's sort of what we need. Go jerk off. Yeah. In the bathroom. Well, we all need that. I mean, you go under the console or something. Yeah. Or the microphone. Seriously, you guys. Bring us all together. You guys, I um, yeah. I don't have major problems with you, Jimmy. No, I don't feel like you do. I really don't. I don't. I, don't, I, don't I had f- major problems with Ann, and he had major problems with me. This, this is different. I yeah. mean, we're, our, our lives have changed, I guess, and we're not as close as we used to be, but I don't have any major fucking problems with you. Yeah, no, I don't feel like that. I, did, I didn't think you were saying that. I didn't think you were saying that, like, you know, I... It didn't, it didn't come off like that, but I was just surprised to hear you say that, like, you know, with... with I kind of... I mean, I'm guessing. Oh, oh. I'm sorry I brought it up. Oh, it's my okay. God. No, that's all right. You are good at it. But that was never on me. I don't care if people do a show. I don't. And people have said to and I I've just said don't. this to others. And I've and I've reiterated this not once has Opie ever said to me, shouldn't do Ant's show or like I don't know if you should be doing that. The I'm just I so have used not gotten to that any with, shit. Like, comedy that. clubs doing that, you know? Like if you play my comedy club, you can't play uh, it's yeah. not, you know, not come so from me. If there's a thing out there, I know I didn't. I didn't think that it came from you. I just, I just was asking almost to be polite. You know what I mean? Like I didn't mean to like. That's fine. Yeah, I oh, didn't Esther. mean to like push your buttons or anything. Oh, Esther. You know. That's fine. Could you have asked? <laughs> Esther. Oh, cool. good. <laughs> Our guest left. Mm-hmm. Oh, a long time ago. Long time. Oh, ago. tell. Oh, t- t- send our apologies. We, we, we did. <laughs> Wait, R- who left? Well, there's one good care. thing came out of today. <laughs> <laughs> the, the property brothers left. Yeah, yeah. I had no. Desire. Where's Dante? I had no desire to talk know. to the property brothers. Sorry, guys. Uh, I forgot they were even here. Yeah, we'll reschedule Dante. Yeah, we will. And uh, the property brothers. Well, what are they plugging? I feel bad. I mean, we didn't mean to fuck them. Oh, I property mean, brothers Wednesday at nine on HGTV. I, I had fucking. Uh, no, I had property. Property questions for them <laughs> about my renovations. God. Been a financial fucking Dante for two office? months. Next time, all right, we could bring Dante in and just. Is we should here? break first. I, I legitimately do have to take a dump, and I've legitimately have had to for almost an hour. All right, Esther, what are you promoting? Um, Where's I got my shit? podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I don't even want to promote it. Oh, promote it, Esther! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Your people hate me so much. Um, a lot of them don't hate you. The ones who are vocal. Right. But, you know, the ones like, you know. That's what I think you guys have to realize. No, huh? we do. We do. You know, like there's a reason why you guys are still here. We want to have you here. And that Steven Singer still working. buys advertisements from you. I do. He's a prostitute. I, I do. Uh, <laughs> but I, I, I do. In, in all honesty, I get weird reactions from the fans, but I get a tremendous you amount. And I've said this to you. Fans. I've also gotten a lot of, I've never gotten positive like, hey, I like you guys better without Dan, I think, but the people who've said positive stuff, it's always like they know the situation we were put in, and they've always said, like, you know, look, I still listen to the show and I'm still enjoying the show. Right. It's never been a reflection on, well, it's better without him. I mean, look, it's a different show. It's a different show, and that's I'm not looking at it as a better. I'm just I look yeah, at this as different. It's a different radio show. I hope anyway, because that's what I, that was my goal. All right, Esther. It's different. The good old days are gone. Sadly, you know, some of them are, yeah, but um, some of them weren't great old days either. Some of them are okay, old that's days. true, yeah. Mm-hmm. All so right, I, wish everybody got I have to pee. All right, let's uh pee separately. San Francisco this weekend, what, Thursday, <laughs> yes, <laughs> Friday and Saturday. All right. All weekend. Big laughs. Big laughs for everybody. All right. We'll be back.